The United States Coast Guard gets called out for a man who swallows a battery. The icon of the seas is getting ready for a sea trial. And uh, I got a bone to pick with people that are at the theme parks and don't know how to navigate them. Let's chat about all these things. What's going on, Adventure Fam? Happy Tuesday. Hope you're doing well. It is game day, Phoenix Suns basketball. Game five tonight in Denver. We're going to take it. I hope we do at least. And uh, if you're not a basketball fan, go ahead and do me a favor and root for them Suns. So here we go. We're going to jump into the first story. And the first story is this. There is an 86-year-old man who was on the Carnival Dream that had to be medevac from the uh, cruise ship due to swallowing a battery. So what happened is this, the gentleman must have swallowed a battery and he started getting gastrointestinal issues in the stomach. So he went to see the uh, onboard physician and the physician decided, hey, look, we gotta get him medevaced out. We wanna be safe, not sorry. So they called the United States Coast Guard. So it looks like on Saturday around 7.22 p.m., there was an 86 year old gentleman on board the Carnival Dream who started to have gastrointestinal issues. Went and saw the onboard physician who deemed that he needed to be medevaced off of the ship. It looks like this all stemmed from a swallowed battery. So they called the United States Coast Guard who came out. They did medevac the individual over to the University Hospital of Galveston to where he was found to be in stable condition. Batteries are no laughing matter. This is exactly why we tell... No, we don't tell. This is exactly why doctors tell, or I guess we do tell our kids... To stay away from things, we don't keep batteries because they can actually cause severe burning of the esophagus. So you definitely want to get that checked out if you ever swallow a battery because it could cause death. So it looks like there was an 86-year-old man on board the Carnival Dream who needed to be medevaced because he swallowed a battery and started to develop gastrointestinal and stomach issues. And he did go and see the onboard physician and that physician deemed him to be needing to be medevaced off of the ship. So the Coast Guard was called and in return they showed up and they showed up big. The Coast Guard launched an MH-65 helicopter to come medevac the gentleman off of the ship and once he was on board they took him over to the University Hospital of Galveston where he was admitted in stable condition. Apparently batteries can be really bad for you. They can actually cause severe burning of the esophagus. So you definitely don't want to swallow batteries. This is probably why we tell our kids and we keep batteries away from our kids to make sure that they are not getting anything stuck in them that can be dangerous and fatal. So it does look like this gentleman though, however, was um, you know in stable condition, which is awesome news for the family and also for the gentleman. But it is crappy that his cruise had to be interrupted because of this. But Better to be alive than on a ship. Now this comes a week after the Carnival Magic actually had to have the Coast Guard come out to them for a passenger in distress as well. That Coast Guard station of New Orleans sent out a helicopter as well. However, different story. Once they got on the scene, it looks like the wind and turbulence and everything, uh, the weather was just so bad that they had to actually call off the mission and couldn't actually perform the medevac. You know, this just shows that no matter, if you're on a cruise ship, if you're in the middle of the ocean, if you're kind of near shore, because um, the, the gentleman was only about 80 kilometers off of the shore of Galveston um, or off the shore of Texas, but no matter where you're at, right, the United States Coast Guard, so quick to respond, so so available for, you know, uh, maritime activities. And, you know, we got to be so thankful that they're around, you know, before the Coast Guard existed, you know, it was, you know, these stories wouldn't turn out to be so good, right? And so the fact that we have the United States Coast Guard that we can rely on uh, in case of emergency, even though we don't like to, you know, see them have to come out too often, in case of emergency, you definitely want them there, right? And uh, look, I've got a one of my best friends is getting ready to retire from the Coast Guard and uh, he served over 20 years and uh, such a such a good guy and I'm so proud of him and I can't believe he's getting ready to retire but he joined after high school in 1999 and uh, he's done our country well so congratulations to you Mason Bowen on your Coast Guard uh, career um, such an amazing thing so um, but yeah I mean the Coast Guard and every military branch right um, you know they they do so much for for us in the country so and that's my spiel. All right, so the Icon of the Seas, they are getting ready to do a sea trial in June and a short month away. This means that this is going to be the first time that the Icon of the Seas is going to be sailing away from the dock on its own and without any help. And so we're so excited for the Icon of the Seas. I can't tell you. We've got it right here on our calendars. 
Not because it's a placeholder, but because we're on the inaugural sailing on January 27, 2024. So Sarah and I are going on this, and uh, I'm sure the kids are a little jealous, but uh, it is during school, so we don't like to pull them out. But we're going to be going on this, and uh, hey, if it goes well and we like it, and uh, which I'm sure we will, we'll love it. Maybe we'll book a, a summer cruise with the kids on it. But uh, we're so looking forward to it. If you don't know much about the Icon of the Seas, I encourage you to check it out. I'm going to put some videos up and some pictures up. Um, it's going to be an amazing and epic show. Ship. I mean, I mean, really, it's going to be iconic. Get what I did there? And uh, so it's going to be a cool ship and we can't wait for this ship to come out. Let me tell you a little bit about the Icon of the Seas. Icon is going to be epic. It's going to be iconic. I can't wait to be on that inaugural sailing. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of vloggers and YouTubers and stuff on there as well. That'll be cool to be able to uh, to meet some of them and, you know, kind of hang out with them and kind of just share that experience. Can't wait for it. And uh, yeah, it's going to be an epic. So the Icon of the Seas is going to be so 20 total icons decks, going out 18 of them its, being guest uh, decks, 2,350 um, crew, trial, and 2,850 well, state room, room trial, total of 7,600 yes, and then get ready for that January seven pools, 27th nine whirlpools, launch of six record breaking so slides. Looking forward to that. Be amazing. You guys are coming with us on that as well. So gross um, tons that's going to be epic. All right, so let's talk about the elephant in the room, and that is my gripe with Disneyland. It's going to and not really with Disneyland, but the people that go to Disneyland. They got an in general Sarah and I, the Central Park, which is last super time we cool. went. Chill Island, and, uh, I gotta Royal get your Promenade, Surfside. Let us know we're being uh, for family, dumb and dramatic, or are you the on board away, with us? And of course, Thrill so Island. So we've got a pretty big family, six people, and so when we walk, right, we walk kind of behind each other, so we don't take up too much room. But I, 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 I for the life of me, couldn't understand it at Disneyland. These big families, big groups, they were walking side by side, literally taking up half of the road or half of like Main Street or whatever. And you know, you got the traffic coming one way, we're going this way, and to try to get around, and they're walking slow to try to get around, right now you're running into the oncoming traffic. So it's kind of a, it was kind of a bummer and kind of a, you know, I couldn't understand why, the, it's like, just get over people, really. Get behind each other, don't walk side by side. Um, so what's your take on that? It was really annoying for us, and maybe we're just, we don't complain a lot, but we were definitely annoyed by that. Um, so have you have you encountered that? Have you witnessed that? Um, what's your take on it? Would you prefer people walk behind each other and not side by side? Um, let us know. Are we being silly and, and we're being ridiculous? Or let us know if, if that's a legitimate argument. I want to know. Um, so let us know. Let us know in the comments. But hey, here's the deal. You're going to want to do two things. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Go to Instagram. Follow us camera giveaway in five days so you definitely don't want to miss that and then uh you definitely want to root for the suns tonight um because uh we need them for game five it's tied 2-2 so if you want to win that camera that vlog camera definitely go and do those two things thanks for watching we love you we want to get to 500 subs we're almost there well almost we're about halfway there get us to 500 at 500 we will look to do another giveaway i can't tell you what that is because i don't know what it is yet but uh, get us to 500 subs. We love you guys. We love the support. And I uh, hope you continue to watch. And uh, we got a trip coming up. So you're definitely going to want to be along the ride for that. And uh, we love you. And see you later. Have a good rest of your Tuesday. Peace out.